Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Via Glow. If you're new here, my name is Gloria and I'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps and I resell clothes and shit. Y'all, this is gonna be a long video, so I hope y'all got a snack. So in today's video, I have a huge ass haul that I got from the Goodwill outlet here in Dallas, Texas. If you guys are new here, I actually like to source typically once a week, but now we've bumped it up to twice a week at the Goodwill outlet, literally the exact same location. There are two locations, but I like to go to one. Um, and this is everything that I got. Now I do have them separated. One is actually my dirty clothes bin. Um, so I need to actually wash everything in here. So let's just dig into this one. But this one's just like a cute little shoulder bag and then it does have have like that floral detail to it I think this is gonna be perfect for the spring and the summer so I went on and got it I do need to like clip some of this um, like stuff off but it is really nice and I did pick up two bags one of them sold literally within like what an hour and a half of me listing it so I'll pop it on the screen so you guys can see but I picked that one up I couldn't find any comps I tried to do like thorough research couldn't find anything and then once I noticed that I received eight views and one watchers on eBay within that hour and a half and then I go to Mercari I received nine views and one um, liker however I feel like with Mercari it's a little bit tricky because Mercari has it to where the people that are following you they see all of your new listings so I don't really count that one but when I I saw the eBay numbers I'm like something is off so when I received the $21 offer I went to go check comps again and I'm like okay am I missing something then I found another similar tote theirs was listed for $60 um, and it was in a brown colorway so I'm just like I don't know so I was like let me take the quick buck just because you already know how slow it is right now so I was just like let me go ahead and sell it and Mercari has been performing amazingly all right so the first thing is this lululemon like mesh top it's a henley i really wanted to say it was a men's but it says number four on it so it's a size four and um i wanted to make sure that i wasn't getting like something that was not you know real so i checked all of like you know the areas that i needed to and i found out this is lululemon i don't know exactly what it is but it did have like some um small flaws to it so that's why it has to be washed this one is a banana republic stretch wool jacket or i guess a blazer jacket if you will i have a hard time not picking these blazers up at the bins i did stop myself a while ago because i do have two wool coats from banana republic that didn't sell but i had found um this one and the pants like a matching set so i was like let me go ahead and get it then when i got home and it was time to list i noticed that the jacket is a size 10 and the pants are a size 8 so I'm just like uh so I went on and just listed them separately but if I would have never came across the pants with this I would have um, left this one behind but it is a wool blend and this is more of a longer line um, blazer not you know like a fitted one like I said it is wool size 10 these are just a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch like jogger pants they do have a specific name I'll pop it on the screen but they're just like a pair of men's joggers this is a columbia like pfg top i kind of slowed down picking these up but this one had a novelty print on it it's kind of like a hammock and some forest trees so i went on and got it it's short sleeve and it's a size large columbia is like one of those brands where it's it's got to be something real specific in order for me to pick it up this is eddie bauer again i only picked this brand up because it is a size large um, they do have some slight staining to the front. I've already stain treated them, so they're going to be getting washed after this video. But if all else fails, I'll probably save them for myself because I really like how they look. All right, this is REI. Um, this is Women's Extra Large Petite. These are just like some, I want to say just like some outdoor hiking pants. These will do great most likely when we get closer to um, the spring. All right, so the next one is actually some rag and bone like leggings these are a size four and they're just like some pull-on you know leggings nothing too crazy they do have a zipper like crotch situation so we'll see how those do i typically pick up all um well let me not say all but majority rag and bone that i find i just try to price it accordingly now because before i used to go crazy but now I try to price it at what comps are telling me this is in by notori and this is a size extra large these are just like some joggers like just some you know sleep pants very casual very relaxing just like that lounge material all right so on to these this was a first time find it is a really pretty one-piece bathing suit the brand is called somersault 
it is a bolo brand so definitely you know look into that this is a size six and it's just this really pretty two-tone blue bathing suit i actually have been selling bathing suits which is very ironic to me just because you know it is about to be winter time and selling swimsuits is like wild but so this is a brand that i don't generally pick up um joseph a banks but this is 100 mongolian cashmere um so i went on and picked it up it is in a decent condition it does have like a small little flaw to the hem um which is a hole i guess that's not very small but it's at the hem so i'm like nobody is really going to be looking at your sweater um but yeah so it is a gray colorway and you know it is a crew neck i picked this one up because it was new with tags i try to look into the brand couldn't find much um the brand is called payton and parker this is a size small these kind of dresses do good um during the spring and, and summertime so i went on and got it it's just kind of like a simple shift dress and the back is a button down situation and like i said it is new with tags so definitely not going to price this high it was brand new at 64 dollars, so probably going to price it at like 25 nothing too crazy um i have been going back and forth with listing and not listing um certain items that are for spring and summer so sometimes the colorway will get me to list it now and then sometimes other colorways or the prints will get me to list it later all right so this was a new to me brand I didn't pick it up off the name tag but i picked it up off of style so this brand is called millennium this is a size large i didn't button it up because this hasn't been listed yet but it is like a patchwork chambray denim top and um this colorway was just too pretty to pass up and it is a button down so i think the patchwork alone is gonna make it do amazing this is kate spade and it's a size large and it's just this tunic sweatshirt um i want to say this is like a polka dot but i don't know the shapes look a little different but yeah it does have pockets to the side of it um so i'm excited about that i think i found kate spade like sweaters at the bands twice now so we love that this is a sports coat and this is brooks brothers this is a brand that i pick up strictly because i saw kaylee elaine pick it up and she sells it for a decent amount this is a 48r and this one is just a tan colorway i don't think this one has like a great fabric content but i did check the um the style and stuff and it was doing good i'm not really sure what i'm going to list that one at because some of these at the top have not been listed yet so i don't really know um this is another sports coat i've been learning from amy and dan too to make sure you put like sports coats for men um instead of like blazers or jackets and stuff like that so i do put that in the tag all right this is a brand called allen flusser I wouldn't commit this one to memory but i really picked this one up due to the style and i believe this is like a long i want to say but i like the floral lining inside and i did check comps and the comps were looking okay um i think the sell through rate was um probably like at 30 or 40 percent and that was the reason why i got it i don't plan on listing it that high so i do plan on getting a quick return on my investment i actually didn't even check the um the comps or the sell through rate on this but this is armani jeans i believe this is a lower line it is a medium i like i said none of this stuff at the top is listed so i don't know what i'm going to list this at but it's just a man's button down shirt and that is a medium this one was a a funny pickup so this is t-mobile it's just like a puffer vest um and it, this one is a 2xl and i do try to pick up some merch from some companies because it does sell this is a victoria's secret slip dress this one um honestly y'all really don't even know why i picked it up because i already know that these slip dresses don't perform that well but i think i need to just start pricing them at like 15 dollars. but this one is just a white one with lace detail all over it i just thought that it looked so pretty um so i'm probably only gonna price this at like 15 or 18 dollars all right so this is a brand called drew if i'm not mistaken it is sold at anthropology this is what the tag looks like and this is an extra small this is 100 percent linen and it is a strapless like jumpsuit situation it is really pretty because i want to say that the legs have like this open slit situation so i guess when you start walking your leg will show through this one was a one-off so i've recently or maybe not recently maybe within like the past 
four or five months uh, when I pick up tall bits it has to be something special about it I do not pick up any of their just like basic pieces unless it is new with tags um, because I noticed that they do not sell I know at the bands yesterday I came across a tall bits um, like a cashmere wool blend sweater but it was just a plain black one the sell-through rate was terrible I'm talking maybe five to ten percent so i was just like oh absolutely not um but this one was tall bits women it is a 2x and it does have dragonflies on it so this is just a really pretty cardigan to wear at the office and i went on and got that one this is a brand that i really could have left behind um i do have one piece um listed and i do believe it does get attention but it has not sold it's called Sadie and sage this is a size medium i got this one because it's giving all the boho vibes the Stevie Nicks vibes and it does have like this really cute like bell sleeve I want to say um yeah and then it is button down I didn't see that like a lace button down situation so we'll see how that one does all right so this is Banana Republic this is the Martin fit and these are six stretch and they are a wool blend um I've mainly picked them up because they are of a boot cut flare wide leg whatever you want to call it office trouser and I have sold this exact style before and it sold within a few days so I went on and picked it up again I haven't found um that much lululemon at the bands in a while so to pick up two lululemon pieces I'm excited about um but these are some aligned leggings I was actually really surprised to find this this is free people beach and this is also a diffusion line from uh, free people but this is a size medium and it's in this really pretty uh colorway it's kind of like a a stone gray or even a tan but it's a maxi so i'm excited to see how that one does especially since it is a size medium all right so now we've made it to the things that i have already listed so we're going to put these in a different section all right so this is a victoria's secret like bustier corset top now first of all when i um did my comps i looked up this specifically with google lens and i saw one pulling up somebody had theirs listed for like 200 dollars. i'm like you're wild but i looked at all the likes and she had a lot of them but i also noticed that she hadn't refreshed her closet so i'm like okay she's clearly a casual seller so then i kept doing like a little bit more digging then i saw another one had actually sold for like 150 or 60 dollars this exact style um and it's vintage so that is the reason why it's selling for so much so i was really happy when i found it um although victoria's secret like i said doesn't perform as good as it used to i did price mine at 145 because i'm looking to get at least about 80 dollars for this i definitely will sit around for it but i believe that one's a 36 36 b i want to say it's a very small cup yeah it's a 36 b I say a very small cup it's probably an average size and I'm just saying that because you already see what I'm working with but anyways uh this is beyond yoga this is a great brand to find um I found at the bands a few times this is a medium I would never use a stock photo with these because it will get pulled down okay I think I got it pulled down on Mercari and on eBay and on Poshmark at one point so be careful but they're just like some um like casual pull-on pants they're really soft if y'all have ever felt you know uh, beyond yoga pants before you already know this is london fog this is a women's size small it's just a cute little trench coat um the lining on it was just so pretty so i was just like let me go ahead and grab this um but i did check the comps um i didn't list mine high just because it is so many listed a lot sold as well but it's just it's a really saturated brand um but yeah so i didn't list it that high this was a nice little find the brand is called ubu um oh wow i wonder is that what they meant like ubu but anyways uh, so this is just a reversible uh coat vest situation this isn't a coat but you already know what i'm trying to say it's just like a like a puffer like something like that i don't know i don't even know what this type of texture is called but um i made sure that i showed this one as the main one because when i searched up the brand on ebay i noticed that this is really close to art to wear just kind of like those loud and vibrant colors so i made sure i you know uh put all the details that i needed all right so this is torrid i have slow down like completely with picking up this brand um now still pick it up i think i have maybe 
three or four items from this haul that I got from the bins uh, but they are like really good pieces but anyways so this one has just like a floral applique to it and it's velvet y'all it, it feels so nice um and it's just like a cute little kimono situation since this is a three four I thought that one would perform really well I have come to terms that I'm okay with getting about 20 to 25 dollars for the great pieces for Torrid and about 10 to 15 for their lower line pieces this is more of a style pickup um I couldn't find much when I comped it it's called Lily and Taylor this is a size 14 um some of the stuff that I saw people had um like church like in the title so I try to use that as well but this one was just really pretty and vibrant I think this would be a great like a uh, church jacket to wear during the springtime and then the buttons I thought was just so pretty it's just like so jeweled out it's two of them so nice so we got that this is a Carhartt uh, size medium classic fit button down I didn't list this high because I'm sure that you know this in general is just not something that people are trying to search for unless it's like thrashed and like worn so that could be my fault but we still picked it up uh, this is just a really pretty Catherine's top um, this one has like this eyelet detail to it and I think that was the reason why I was like I'm, I've got to go ahead and get it and it's white so this is going to be a great spring piece and this is a 2x um, I have slowed down with picking up um like plus sizes if it's not like something that is just like so in your face just because I noticed that they don't sell as quickly as I would like and I just don't want to store like that many plus sizes so I try to just you know balance it out because I feel like I have so many extra smalls and smalls due to the fact that those are great brands that I came across allegedly um and I wanted to hurry up and take them home but it's like now I can be a little bit more selective and that's what I try to be this is J Jill it is just this really pretty brown cardigan I was actually able to find um that this was J Jill through their care tag the RN number because somebody cut the tag all right this is Lauren Ralph Lauren this is a size medium it is a button down top I remember picking up something um from this brand similar and it sold in a bundle really quickly so Lauren Ralph Lauren is one of those brands that I feel like I have quite literally 100% sell through rate with which I love that so much but it could be just me being really good at picking up the good stuff but for the most part I pick up decent stuff from the brand uh this is Star Wars y'all know I don't really pick up t-shirts like that but I thought this one was kind of cool just says slugger and it is Darth Vader I've actually never watched Star Trek um or Star Wars whatever it's called um it just doesn't seem like it's something that I'd be interested in it seems really boring but if you like it you know I ain't trying to hate this is Pure Jill another brand um that I pick up when it is substantial uh but this is just a really pretty boxy textured top um and yeah it's a size medium it is very oversized so so i picked this one up due to style the brand is called cynthia rowley i think i picked up two pieces from this brand uh during this trip this is a size large but it is 100 percent linen and i priced this one accordingly because look at this ditzy floral print i was just like i can't leave this behind and it's a size large so i think this is going to do great in the springtime so i went on and got it this is another Joseph A. Banks piece. This is, uh, I guess, from their Traveler's line. This is an extra large, and it is merino wool. This one doesn't have any flaws to it, so I went on and picked it up. I just, I feel like as of late, y'all, I have really tried to get out of picking up the same stuff. Like, of course, at the bend, you're going to come across a lot of stuff, but it's like, as a reseller, you kind of narrow it down, so... I know for me I kind of want to tap into newer brands and like newer bread and butters and not just stick to the same ones because I feel like the ones that I have kind of like honed in on are getting oversaturated so I want to find other brands that I can saturate you know um, but this one was a style pickup I didn't even really care to check comps I'm upset that I can't fit it um, it is from H&M and it's called slow grow I really don't know what that even means but they have it right here on the chest the quality of this t-shirt felt really nice this is what it looks like so it just says slow grow on it and then it has uh society corp new york los angeles and tokyo and i love the colorway this one is a size extra small i want to say they have that in men but i listed it under women's because i feel like it'd be a great oversized t-shirt 
this is from a brand called apparel collection really didn't care about the brand um it was more so because it is mcdonald's apparel so it's just like this really nice um like i don't even want to say jersey knit but it's just it it's got to be poly honestly because it it feels like it's very sweat wicking um but this is a size extra large i came across this one i actually felt the quality of it i'm like okay this feels really nice um it does have like a little button detail to it and i did like the print it is like a jersey knit material and uh through looking at the care tag the rn number it was chico so i went on and picked it up this is just like a great tunic top um this one already has a few likes on it and i just listed it yesterday so so this is actually a new to me brand called um Lisse. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it is a size small. Alicia over there at um, Murray Life, she picked up this brand. I think she sells it for like twenty to twenty-five dollars. So I thought I'd go ahead and try it out. I'm assuming this is maybe like a faux like leather panel, and then it's like this pointy knit um, fabric. And I went on and grabbed these to see how they do. I didn't list them high just because I wanted to see how the brand performs. And the comps were literally between fifteen to twenty-five dollars. So. These are the Banana Republic Jackson Curvy Fit. These are petite and a size 8. Again, um, I find a little bit more luck with selling Banana Republic work trousers. So I went on and got them. I think these also are a wool, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are wool. All right, so this is Express. These are the editors. Um, I find that this particular style sells pretty well. Um, these are size 2 long. Um, and I think I sold a pair just like this and they were a high rise. Um, but this is the flare, their wide leg. And I think this is probably a good style to pick up, uh, from Express in their work trousers. This was 100% a style pickup. The brand is called Be Design, but it's just a crew neck sweater and, um, it has this bulldog on it. And what I really liked about it is that the collar actually has like this, um, rhinestone detail to it. So I went on to grab it and it's a size large. This was a really pretty bra. The brand is called Waco. Um, I have been only finding, um, luck selling smaller size bras in Notori or Waco. I don't pick up any other, uh, branded bras just because when I was <laughs> they weren't performing so I just stopped picking them up um, but this one's a 38d and walk hole and notori sells really quickly for me so that's why I picked them up so this is Chico's this is a size 4 which is a US size 20 and newer tag Chico's actually shows you what the sizing is on the bottom of their vanity sizing but these are just like some capri pants i think i checked the sell through rate and it's not that high but since it was a size 20 i'm just like let's just see you know so these are just a pair of old navy pixie pants these are like a bread and butter um they have slowed down <laughs> uh so the three that i have listed they've been like sitting um they do get attention but they just sit but these are just like a really pretty chambray striped colorway so i went on to pick these up and these are actually a size two um, I do see a lot at the bands and I do leave them behind, um, but I still, you know, pick them up every now and again when it is like a funky color or something. These are gap fit. These are regular. These are their uh, G flex. So I want to say this is like a low rise and then it is a nice little flare boot cut situation and uh, they feel really nice. The quality of them feel really good. I don't think I've ever picked up gap like, you know, athletic wear. This is cut from the cloth and um these are the connie ankle skinny i was actually really surprised to see that the comps were decent um i want to say it was either 50 or 60 or even more percent when i checked on ebay so, all right y'all so this is rei this is a pretty great brand um this is a men's jacket i forget the exact style name but I did see a few listed, um, no less than $50. So of course you already know where I priced mine at, um, around that. <laughs> uh, so I went on and got that one. That was a size men small. These are some Harley Davidson, like fleece, like boxer shorts. Um, I have them labeled under women because they are women shorts. I want to say, I don't think a man would be in these cause they're like fleece lines. So i do have them labeled um up there i had to really look into the tag because the tag doesn't look like the tags now and it's made in korea so i'm just like it was a lot that listing that took me a little while so 
I was trying to look at all the tags, like how how vintage is this? Is this vintage? Like what's the what's the tea? But I couldn't find anything. Um, but this is Hillary Radley, and uh, the sell through rate was really good, so I picked it up. This is a size large, and they're just like some black pull on pants. I'm only gonna get about 15 to 20 for these, but I'm completely okay with it. All right, so this is a Savannah Jane dress. It is a size medium. And it's really pretty. It's gonna be a great like spring summer piece, but it's like animal print and then the embroidery. If you know anything, this is more so just kind of like a Johnny Woods, like, you know, cousin or something, but I picked that one up. This is a Chico's cardigan. This is a size two, which is a large, and it is in this mixed media uh, styling. So this is a like knit material. And then the back of it has this really pretty floral colorway i think this would be really nice on like a teacher like if they want just like a pop of color like art to wear if you will this is j crew i checked the care tag and this is actually from um you know 2022 which is very recent and it's just this really pretty pop over top i think this is made out of rami and what's so crazy to me y'all like when i think of rami i think of vintage like sweaters so to see a top made out of that it just feels different this is just a little boys uh, polo ralph lauren like a vintage uh knit sweater i believe it is just cotton so it's nothing too crazy that is a size small this is wolf <laughs> which is a man's wear brand um this one is kind of interesting it's kind of like how chubbies and uh bird dogs is so i'm excited to see how this one does this is a size 2xl um, and I noticed that the comps, all of them were kind of high. So we'll see. This is Peter Millar size 11. It is new with tags and it's just this pink summer comfort shirt, which are their most popular for the brand. However, this one does have like some branding on it. So we'll see how this one ends up doing. I did list it high though, just to make room for comps. This was, I don't really don't know why I picked this up. Cause I don't really pick up Avenue unless it's like new with tags, but this is Avenue um this size was a 22 by 24 and um it is a pop over top it's in this really pretty brown colorway so that's probably why i got it all right this is made well <laughs> and this is actually just a really pretty uh like i want to say that no this is not a pop over top it's just like a blouse this is from summer of 2022 so it is very recent the battery died y'all so i'm back anyways uh so this is a vintage like hawaii dress the brand is called club mystique of course i haven't listed this this is actually in my pile of things that will be listed in february but it's just this really pretty dress um unfortunately i just saw a small little hole Ugh. so what's crazy y'all so i came across two pieces um this is the only one that i picked up so wherever this was being sold at they put a like like a nail that you hammer into the wall a nail with like their price tag on it so then the ending of it you could poke yourself so i was really surprised that like nobody got poked while they were digging in the bins with the, whoever thought that was a great idea to use a, a pen to put your label on your pricing like who does that but anyways uh this is a medium so I think this is going to do great in the um, spring, summer. So we got that. All right, y'all. So this is a Bolo brand. The brand is called Love Shack Fancy, size large. And this is just a mini dress. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get this listed, but I'm not going to list it until February, probably January. I'm not sure yet. So these are just some L.L. Bean men shorts. Um, I have these set aside for the springtime but this is what their little logo looks like i don't know if there's like a newer tag ll bean but these are a size medium and they're just like some trunks so i went on and got those again set aside for the spring and summer this is a cute little uh girls tommy bahama dress i think i've sold tommy bahama dresses for little girls before and they do perform so i'm probably going to get maybe like i don't know 15 20 for this this is a size um, medium, which is a 7.8. This is definitely not a brand pickup, but I remember somebody telling me many, 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 many months ago uh, that Tara and Sky, which is actually sold at Walmart, um, they do really well with um, selling it online. So I went on to pick this up. And due to the fact that it was new with tags, that was the main reason why I got it. And it's just this really pretty midi dress. And the colorway was just so pretty and i couldn't pass it up and it is a 3x 
this retails for $30 so I'm probably gonna price mine at like $25 and hope to get about 24 since it is new with tags and I think I've actually sold a Tara and Sky sweater before um, for like 20 or $25 because it was plus size this is Juicy Couture and this is actually their um, small which is just a kid sizing um, now this is not the label that I told y'all to pick up um, in my reseller vlog because this one is kind of newer tag um, the one that I was telling y'all to pick up is more so like early 2000s all right so I went back and forth with myself on whether or not I should pick this up it is Dolce & Gabbana okay now to the naked eye it looks flawed but after further investigation this is actually like manufactured so it's kind of like ripped you know seam and it's on the front and then the neckline so I did price it really high because after dating the tag it dates back to like 2002 so I listed it really high of course it's probably not gonna sell anytime soon um, and you know we'll see how much we can get for it this is an Under Armour shirt it is a man's just plain t-shirt I probably should have left this but you know I have such a, a weak you know heart when it comes to Under Armour men's because I've been noticing that it always sells like it it always sells so I pick Under Armour men's and Under Armour children typically boys up I don't think I've come across any women's Under Armour and I don't think I'll pick it up if I see it but those two categories they sell really well this is Point Sir which I just learned um, when I did my research when I was listing it that this is sold by J Crew. so it's just a pair of joggers um the brand is called Cynthia Rowley I know that this is more so a spring piece but I just I couldn't I could not list it now um, like I said, Cynthia Rowley, it is a medium. This is giving very much so farm real vibes. It's a maxi skirt. I believe it's 100% rayon. And just like that colorway is just so stinking cute. But I uh, priced it at, I want to say like 32. So I'm looking to get maybe about 20 to 25. Um, I don't really pick up Cynthia Rowley. I think it's my first time picking it up like twice. But, you know, I want to test out some things. This is Torrid. It's a size 2. And um, I thought this was really pretty. And I love this colorway. And it's just kind of like a waffle knit tunic top. And that one looked really pretty on the, um, on the stock photo. All right, so this is a pretty exciting find. I think I found um, skims at the bands like three times now. But this is a size small, and it's just their uh, like jersey knit robe. These actually retail for $94. The only problem is that mine has like this small flaw to the back shoulder. It's kind of got like some rips. So I priced it, I want to say like at $45. So I'm probably going to get maybe about $30 for that, which I'm okay with. It's a band's pickup. This one, I probably should have left, but I picked it up anyways. It's Coogee. Um, I really thought in my head, like, okay, maybe somebody that is going to like a Y2K, early 2000s party would actually love something like this. So I picked it up. It is a size small. And it's just like a t-shirt. At first, I'm like, is something wrong with my eyes? Like, why is the shoulders and, and the sleeves looking like that? But that's kind of like how it is. So I'm assuming this is probably going to be worn off the um, shoulder a little bit so yeah I picked that one up and we'll see how it does that's my first time finding Kuji. these are some Abercrombie and Fitch uh, stretch shorts these are an extra large I'm kind of happy that I'm finding all of these like newer label Abercrombie and Fitch for men because then I can see how they perform but yeah these do have drawstrings and you know we'll see I think I listed those as well all right, so this is a newer style that I did not know that Levi's made. I feel like I've been so caught up in the rib cage and the wedgie. I didn't know they made other ones. Like I remember selling a low pro style last month for like $30 and they sold, I want to say that next morning. So these uh, newer Levi's are doing really well. These are their 94 baggy. These were the other um, pair of pants that I found in the bands with the Lululemon and the Love Shack Fancy and all the other things. Um, these are size 29 and they're just a black, you know, basic pair. Um, yeah, I am happy. I'm so happy whoever donated those. This is Adriano Goldschmied. This is the fair skinny, the high rise skinny. And this colorway was really pretty. So of course I have to go ahead and get it. And I love picking up Adriano Goldschmied. Some of the pieces I could leave behind, but some of them I just, I can't. So I always grab it. 
this one was a style pickup i couldn't find anything on the brand let me know down below if you found anything on story the tag was tacked on so i'm like maybe it's a great brand i don't know but it's like a cow neck waffle knit uh sweater kind of like a tunic situation so i went on got that this also didn't have the label tacked on but i found it through the rn number it is um g and i want to say this is an extra large um i did list this already even though we are not like you know in the season but that colorway just was giving very much so it could be worn you know in january it could be worn in february all right so this is lucky brand this is their classic fit it is a pearl snap button down and it is white and it's 100 percent linen so that's why i picked it up i was actually surprised that it had no flaws to it i was thinking at the very least the armpits would have flaws but no so whoever had this they really didn't care for to wear so it's in a really good condition and it's a size medium all right so here's some vintage for y'all this brand is called city triangles made in the usa um 100 poly and it says size 11 but i got it at a size medium and it's just this really pretty square neck mini dress and it does have like this floral mesh trim to it which is so pretty i think this would look so nice under like maybe like a black or a white turtleneck or a different color i don't really know um because y'all know i don't have style but i picked this up because i'm like that's gotta do good i didn't price that one as high as i priced this one this is another vintage dead stock uh dress the brand is actually called um, blondie and me evening by linda burnell this is made in usa and it's a size three four um, I think I got the size and got like a size two, I want to say. I'm not sure. I provided measurements so we can avoid this. But it's just like this strappy, uh, beaded, you know, mesh dress. Now, I did come across a few comps. And one girl, hers was really pretty. I think she had hers close to $200. Y'all know that I don't really price things like crazy high because I'm in the business of like getting quicker flips. But I priced this one kind of high, um, not as high as hers, but I want to get at the very least like $100 for this because it is dead stock. So uh, dead stock just means that it's new with tag. This isn't made anymore. This is from the 90s. And honestly, I feel like my style compared to the other girls is just so much better. Um, hers is just all black. I think she did have like a cute little um, uh, like, you know, top part. I'm not really sure what it's called, but this one is just so pretty. All right, so this is uh, Indian Indianapolis <laughs> Colts. I believe it's a football team, uh, but I picked this one up because it's in a like new condition. It is a size medium. I need to go change this because I think I put it as a large. Um, but yeah, just a basic. Probably only going to get about fifteen dollars for that, but I'm cool with it. Y'all know some of these items are strictly to fill my closet, and because I have bumped up my listings to over double of what I currently list, um, I gotta you know put things like that in my closet this is express these are the editor pants again i just picked these up um in black so these are in a gray colorway so i'm excited to see how this one does i believe this one is actually a size six yeah and these are a wool fabric so we love that all right so this brand is called earthbound uh trading co and it's just like this maxi skirt and the main reason why I picked it up is because it has pockets on both sides and then this embroidery detail to it, which I thought was just so stinking cute. So I picked it up. These are those Banana Republic pants that went with that blazer I was telling y'all about. Um, that's what it looks like. And the style is called the Martin Fit. So these are size eight and uh, they stretch and they're wool. So we got that. All right, this was actually a bad buy. Um, I didn't check thorough comps the brand is called mutual weave and the tag looked like it's worth something so i was like oh let me look into it it is a size medium it's in men's it is cotton and it is hooded the problem is that i believe this is sold at jc pennies for like 80 dollars. so i priced that maybe at like i want to say 15 dollars 15 20 dollars just to get it out the way this is a brand that I would typically pick up, but the colorway and the fabric content is the reason I got it. The brand is called Adrian Vettadini. This is a size medium. This brown colorway was really, really nice. And the fact that it was wool and yak hair. Now, yak hair, I don't think I've ever come across. So I was just like, I gotta get it. Um, and it has like a toggle uh, closure right in the front. So it's a cute little cardigan. It does have pockets. Um, I think I priced that maybe like at 
for 30 or 40 dollars um just because of the yak hair like have y'all ever sold yak hair because i haven't so i was just like let me see honestly i really should have left this behind um i feel like i convinced myself to take this home which i shouldn't have because i didn't really need to um but the brand is called lane bryant and this is a plus size brand this is a size 22 and it's just this polyester blazer i really gravitated to it because of the colorway um so yeah we'll see how this performs the comps weren't promising <laughs> the sell through rate wasn't promising so i just i just don't know why i picked that up honestly this is a lucky brands man hiddenly top i'd have a lot of luck selling this like a lot um so yeah we got that this is a pure geo size medium sweater honestly this really should have been in a nicer fabric um i think it's just like a tiny bit of wool like cotton in like nylon or something like that but it's just this really pretty um just a sweater the sleeve is like a half sleeve situation very very much so kind of like coastal vibes i don't know why i didn't put it coastal this is a banana republic man's very thin sweatshirt i picked this up because it was an argyle style and the simple fact it was silk and linen so i try to put like um golf or holiday in the title um so it can pull in the right people this is ari i believe are offline i want to say these are their goals 7 8 high rise leggings um, this is my first time picking this up, but I've picked up their leggings before. Um, and I try to make sure that I stick to picking up larger sizes. So this is a large. Um, these are priced a little bit higher just because they're still sold on their website. I wish they were a flare. I probably could have got more. Yeah, but I think I priced those too high. I probably need to go in and drop that price, honestly. All right, this is a brand that I probably shouldn't pick up. But again, you know, we got to get those fillers. The brand is called Sunday. I picked this up for style. This is a really pretty tie-dye situation. And it's kind of like a pop-over, like Henley style, scalloped hem dress, um, long sleeve. So we got that. This was a, a really exciting find. Uh, the brand is called Ming Wayne. Something similar to Eileen Fisher. This is just so stinking cute and it's still sold on the website. Y'all, this retails for $225 uh, because my minimum is going to be $50 for it just because it is uh, used. But this is an extra large, so I'm even thinking I probably could get more. Um, I was able to find a stock photo and everything and it just looks so pretty. Um, it's, it's up there. Like the brand is really up there. All right, this is Athleta. Again, you already know I start to pick up more current styles i don't even care if it's a dollar at the bins if it's not from you know 2019 and now and even if it is from 2019 if the style doesn't look good i'm not picking it up but this style is still sold on their website um so yeah i went on and got it and i love it i wish i could fit this because it's so cute it has like a zipper pocket on it as well so it's just like a very thin sweatshirt good for the gym i bet y'all like you still digging in that bag these are a pair of cool pants these are a size four and they are just um i forget what the name is called i'll pop it on the screen but they're just like you know some hiking pants again these are probably not going to sell until the um you know the springtime but i'm cool with it i know a lot of people have uh talked about cool being a brand that has slowed down and i have to agree but at the bands i'll pick it up if it's good uh this is free people per use um what is a binge trip without finding free people this style looked really nice so that's why i picked it up i've actually slowed down with picking up dated styles from uh free people that made well just just because of the brand it doesn't matter unless it's like a high 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 dollar brand then maybe i'll pick it up if the style is dated but even then i have learned my lesson because it's a few items that i've picked up where the brand is great but the style is very old and not in like this cute little y2k old but just kind of like 2010 old and it just it's not the same you know it's not the same y'all we are almost done these are just some low rise straight style women good old y2k levi's um so i looked into these and um you can date on the tag how you know old the levi's are and i found out that these were made march of 2002 so these are an eight misses and these are the 505 low rise straight leg which i find kind of odd that it's low rise because when i did the rise 
it's sitting at a 10 which is wild to me so i don't i don't know i guess clothes are made different of course back then but the rise is a 10 when i measure it which is technically a high rise but this one says it's a low rise so i guess it's it's all different um but i, I tried to do the measurements that the girls on depop do like i incorporated the hip i actually did a visual of the hip because i feel like people take you know different measurements um for the hip everybody is different but i feel like the main four like lengths you know the rise the inseam and the waist is very you know cut and dry but i feel like hips let me see where you took the measurements at you know all right this is torrid the happy camper t-shirt this is a size four so that was the reason why i got it i have really felt like picking up torrid um just in general is a hit or miss like if you just don't know nowadays but i feel like you can't go wrong with anything over a three but even then you still want to get something that people actually want like just because you found it cheap does not mean that somebody wants it you know and to end it off we got a good old designer brand it is called Dries Van Noten. <laughs> I don't know what that means, um, but it's just this really pretty blazer and it's like a crop style and it's 100% linen. Um, I saw maybe like three or four of these listed um, ranging from 90 to $150. So I try to price mine in between that to see what I can get. Um, I think I priced it pretty high. It's got to be like over a hundred dollars maybe like 120 or something um but after looking up the brand like they sell stuff for you know a thousand dollars and over so but me pricing it at a hundred dollars is just like a, a really good sweet spot um but yeah that is all that i have for this video please go ahead and leave me this emoji because your girl has talked y'all to death this is probably the longest haul that i've ever given y'all and i apologize because i know for me my attention span is so short that it would take me about two or three days to finish this video um but thank you all for tuning in and watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.